got my little title toss. How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Kim Kardashian, you must think we are dumb as Chloe. Y'all, what am I talking about? Kim is now trying to rewrite history that we all still remember. Remember when Kim was gloating because of Pete and Kanye? Remember when she sat on Ellen and told us how cute it was that Pete had branded himself? My girl's a lawyer and carved his her kids' names into the neck. I'm sorry, Kim's the one that gave him that tattoo. Remember how she was telling everybody she was in love? Remember how she was kicking when Kim when Pete was dragging the father of her kids on a Netflix series, talking about everything I do is so my kids can have a good thing. Remember when Kim was saying that he had BDE and all this stuff and it's the little things. Remember when they went to every single event they could? Remember how Kim got on a private plane and spent 80,000 in fuel approximately to fly over there to beg Pete for three days to please not break up with her and stay with her? And remember how Pete laughed in her face and still broke up and then started dating Imrata? and also was probably messing around with Chase Two Wonders? Yeah, I do. Well, the person that doesn't want us to remember is Kim. Do you know that Kim Kardashian is literally standing in these streets saying that Pete was just a fling? Nothing. Remember when Kim told us that she talked to numerous child psychologists that said, and, and it's on the Ellen Show, that if you're serious about someone and they're gonna be in a child's life, six months is the appropriate time to introduce your children to that person and pete broke up with her a month later isn't it funny how pete was fine to get kim on the low right brag and the fact that kim didn't even realize that pete was, didn't even like you was only doing this because it made him good to know that he was he was literally shagging um his favorite idol he can't stand's wife isn't it funny how as soon as Pete actually met the kids and had to start playing daddy, he broke up with Kim like a month later. Mm, that's the most insulting thing. She is now saying that it was a fling. Kim is literally sitting here. Where's this article? Let me pull this up, y'all. Oh, by the way, the Keeping Up with the Kardashians um, recap season three, episode three. It's going to be up tonight or either that later on tomorrow. Y'all, I put a lot of work in. Please, it's let them know in the comments how good it is. It's super, super good. On top of that, hit that like and subscribe button. Y'all know I'm trying to grow. I promise if you guys start hitting that like and subscribe button, I will be posting umpteen videos a day. I'll kick into overdrive, the version of me you love. Okay, let's get into this, right? Kim said, the media made me feel like I was in a very serious relationship so quickly. Kim, you and your mother was the one planting all that stuff in the media. She said she insists Pete Davidson's cling fling was casual despite all those tattoos, baby talk, cheesy matching PJs, and his bomb with her kids. Again, I don't know what Kim is doing because this makes her look like, to me, incompetent parent. You had your daughter sitting on somebody that was casual. Your son got lost in Walmart by somebody who was casual. In the middle of the divorce, you let somebody who was casual talk trash and make fun of your the, the father of your kids on a Netflix special that hundreds of millions of people saw. And this is casual? I can't. Anyway, they said Kim insisted that her nine-month relationship with Pete was far less serious than apparently the media made it out to be. You guys are the media. You guys put all that stuff out there. Kris Jenner, Kim's a princess. All of you guys push this narrative. You call paparazzi photos. You stage paparazzi photos. You made up a fake story about y'all spending the holidays in the Bahamas with Pete, meeting the rest of your family. <laughs> the 42-year reality star started dating 29-year-old uh, Pete Davidson. In a, you know the funny thing about Kim? Kim, 42, got money. You picked the one dirtbag 29-year-old that literally was a Hollywood bicycle that played the mess out of you. You know how many 29-year-olds would have been so happy, devoted, and swimming in Kim, laying in her mansion? Come on, Saint, you want to shoot some balls? Oh, that's cute, Northy. Can you do the ice spice thing again? Oh, you're so talented. Kim picked this crunchy sock mofo loser 
If I was Kim, I would literally be scared, scared of dating again until I got my mind right. Let's be real. First of all, you need to fire that counselor that told you it was okay for Pete to meet your kids after six months and it was casual. But we all know that 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 um counselor's name rhymes with Miss and starts with K. Chris Jenner, I see you. It probably never even existed. But second of all, how do you let this mofo get on you? Like, I think that's what I would be more embarrassed of. Not only did you let him hit, but you took him seriously. And now you're trying to walk this back as if we just didn't see the last season. But girl, go on. We're going to laugh with you. Anyway, she said just a month after meeting him on the set of Saturday Night Live when she made her hosting debut. You see how she's trying to rewrite history? Because Kim told us the very first time they met was at the Matt Galler when Pete tried to ask for her number. And the thing is... Again, I'm not a cheater, right? I'm not saying that makes me morally better than someone. I'm just saying I'm not a cheater because honestly, if you're cheating with me, I'm looking at you like you're poor, more char poor moral character. I'm looking at you like, wait, you're okay sharing me? Do you have, like, what? That's why I, I, I would just be insulted that you would think so lowly of me that you would cheat and be my side thing and hit me on the side. Pete knew you were married. No one knew you and Kanye were having friends. He pulled you to the side and been like, yo, what's up? Can I get your number? Kim didn't give it to you, but he already let you know what dirt bag demon time he was on. Anyway, Pete would end up getting four tattoos dedicated to Kim, which Pete would later get removed, with a couple attending the Met Gala in 2022 together and even wearing pat matching PJs at one point. Yeah, Kim, this is real casual. He also reportedly had a great relationship with her four children. And there were even reports that Kim and Pete had discussed having a baby together. Still, despite all that, Kim ultimately blamed the media for supposedly making her relationship with Pete bigger than it really was. So funny she's blaming the media. Just a couple of months ago, she was dating, uh, she was blaming Kanye for ruining the relationship with Pete. So if the relationship was casual, why were you crying? That Kanye ruined your relationship. A casual relationship. Why did you even care? Anyway. Anyway. Kim's having dinner with Scott. Taking a break from her work on the Dos and Gabbana campaign. Can I just say this is the oddest plot line ever. That Kim is really trying to convince us. That she did any of this work when it was all her stylist. Kim is literally like sick in the head. This is the only thing that makes me think she might be worth a billion dollars. You know all rich people start doing really weird stuff. This is her weird stuff. She said, I've been so busy with the Dulce and Gabbana campaign. There's so much to do before Milan, but I need some fun and just to get to hang out the ca uh, house. She said, I love hanging out with Scott because Courtney can't stand him. Sorry, she didn't say this stuff about Courtney, but you know she was thinking it. We're both single right now, so I feel like there's a lot to talk about and a lot, of the, the, a lot to navigate. Scott says he hasn't seen her out on dates or anything since her split with Pete. And Kim adding, it's hard because what do those first dates look like? Scott says he can't imagine what a first date with her would be like. And she says it would have to be behind doors. They couldn't go out. Is this your is this your excuse for being a smash and grab? Oh, I, I we can skip all that and just go to your house and Netflix and chill because, you know, girl, shut up. Um, Listen. Listen. Let me just say this, right? She said then if you're seen with someone then it's starting to not work out you almost have to try to make it work a little bit longer because you're embarrassed that it was so quick pete gave you insurances that he loved you that's why you moved it quick and as soon as he got what he wanted he dumped you it's okay kim take the l but why are you still talking about it it's embarrassing it's embarrassing don't you want better for yourself Gosh, I know North is just like, oh my God. And Kim, North doesn't have access to this. Girl, please know that, that North got her bestie's friend on the playground at recess, flipping through all the blogs, trying to see what's say, uh, being said about her, you, her daddy, and on TikTok. Stop it. She said, the one thing I learned from my last situation was the media made me feel like I was in a really serious relationship, like so quickly. I just want to sneak around a little bit. Like there's nothing wrong with wanting to sneak. Oh my God. Kim is literally saying that she's in her jump off era. Y'all listen. I just can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I cannot. Kim is ridiculous with her lies. Kanye is happy. Kim can't stand it. 
And baby, I'm waiting to see when Bianca actually flash, splashes out because I think Kim really banked on the fact of Kanye being canceled and thought she wouldn't ever have to run into him in the same rooms. And now Kanye's back. And I'm like, you, Kim, Kanye actually does do pick his own clothes, make his own clothes, have some real talent, have something to get him back into the people's hearts. Kim is just hanging on by an Instagram post. Y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comments. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.